Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 10th, 2022. Well, yesterday we had, we enjoyed a really nice rally in the market, but one has to kind of question whether or not that will be a bit of a bull trap um, in the market today just because of that CPI. Who knows? We're going to have some big data coming our way before the market opens. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Yesterday was a really nice rally, uh, particularly in the Dow, where the Dow broke above its 50-day moving average, as you can see, uh, popping up through there. Unfortunately, it was one of those days where we gapped and then pretty much went nowhere. As you can see, we had quite a little bit of volatility in price action um, moving around, but we gapped and kind of went nowhere. And that was really the story for the day in most of the indexes. Um, but the Dow did break above that 50 day moving average. So what do we got going here? Well, if we take a look at this chart, we do have this upside trend in play here in the Dow. Unfortunately, we have a tremendous amount of price resistance in this chart above still to be pushed through. Not saying that we can't do it. Um, it is certainly possible that we could push right on through that, keeping in mind that we broke this downtrend and we held that area right in there as a nice little support area. So all is copacetic here with the diamonds. Unfortunately, not so copacetic with the rest of the indexes. Let's take a look at the SPY. Um, SPY, as you can see, we've been struggling here with this downtrend break and we got through that downtrend yesterday and with another gap and kind of go nowhere in the market. And if you take a close look, we didn't quite make it through the high of last week. So we're still just slightly under that level of last week. We have a substantial level of price resistance above here in the chart. And unfortunately, the SPY just couldn't quite make it up through that 50 day moving average um, resting underneath. And notice that our short term moving averages have come down. So we have a fairly significant zone of price resistance in the chart right in here. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see with all the data coming our way, whether or not we're able to push through or if we fail at that level. And boy, anything is possible this morning, if you um, ask me. If we take a look at our chart in the QQQ, unfortunately, even a worse picture here in the QQQ, um, why although we broke through that downtrend, we popped up here, we didn't break through that high of last week right in here. And we want to pay attention to the fact that we still have just a significant, huge level of price resistance in this chart um, that we still need to break through. And unfortunately, we ended up camping out right there at that 200 day moving average um, uh, for price resistance on the day. Notice that we have our 34 EMA pushing down here, our 20 day moving average is already crossed down through that 200. And notice that that 50 day moving average continues to dive here on the NASDAQ. So we're going to have to watch this pretty closely. Not exactly a warm and fuzzy chart just yet. Um, however, we do have that little tiny, we can cling to some hope that we have that little tiny uptrend starting to show itself. But with so much data coming our way this morning, I think anything is possible. Let's take a look at our IWM. Now, IWM had a really nice push up yesterday and finally was able to break through that little resistance area in the chart. Unfortunately, IWM has a massive level of resistance above. And if we take a look, um, we still haven't broken um, past that downtrend in the chart and looking at this um, we've rallied up 
close to our 34 EMA. We've got that brick wall of resistance above and notice how that 50 day moving average is continuing to dive down to provide a real substantial, uh, I mean a massive level of price resistance right through this area. So watch that closely. Certainly the weakest of the indexes at the moment, although it had one of the better performances on the day yesterday of the indexes. So interesting, interesting moves in the market. Let's take a look at our um, let's take a look at our economic calendar or excuse me our VIX our VIX um, yesterday pulled back and for the first time we were able to break down below that upside trend so that was a good sign for the market seeing that fear drop out but it does make you kind of wonder with all of this data coming our way could they have set a big old bull trap um, for the market um, we'll have to wait and see on that CPI number here this morning. Let's take a look. We are also holding above, as you can see, holding above that 20 handle in the chart, and there is quite a lot of price support in there. So breaking that trend was a good sign. Holding on to that 20 handle area, though, we still have that opportunity that we can bounce from there. So watch that closely. The bulls have been doing a pretty good job here, but there is still a lot of work to do, as you saw on those index charts. Let's take a look at our T2122. Unfortunately, our T2122, early in the day yesterday, we were pushing up here into that bearish reversal zone. We were right up in here. And if we um, take a look today, as we're trying, we've got a little bit of a mix going on. We've got um, the Dow trying to push higher here with um, Coca-Cola beating estimates. And, um, in the uh, early morning reports here. So um, trying to push higher, but we have a mix of things going on in here. So we have a big day of earnings reports, over 200 companies reporting today, which going, it could create quite a little bit of volatility here in the market. Add in that CPI report and who knows. But one of the things that we'll want to be watching carefully is as we push up here, if those bulls find reason for inspiration, we don't have a whole long way to go here before we are in the bearish reversal zone once again here in our T2122. So if you are um, in holding long trades, make sure you're being kind of careful here. This is the exact place where we can see that pushback happen in the market. And if those bears find some reason in that CPI report to reverse and go the other direction, well, we've opened up a big opportunity um, for them to push down. So watch carefully here. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now our T2108 had a really nice improvement yesterday pushing up, but once again, we still have lots of price resistance in this chart, still moving in this sharp downtrend. We still have this longer downtrend providing resistance in the chart. So doggone it, um, it's, it was a nice relief yesterday, but not exactly um, uh, sounding the all clear yet on that internal. So about 38, 39% of the stocks above their 40 day moving average, which means we still have a lot of work to do to improve um, and get things moving to the upside. If we take a look at our T2107, a very similar situation. There was improvement yesterday, not quite as much as we saw in T2107. Um, as you can see, only about 34% of our stocks above the 200 day moving average, which means we still have a tremendous amount of pressure here on the market. Still running in this ugly downtrend with lots of resistance above in this chart that still needs to be defeated. Can that happen today? Maybe we'll want to keep a close eye on that, depending on how we react to some of this data today. And that T2101, we got to give this one to the bulls yesterday, pushing that on down. Um, that shows that little bit of resting pattern here in the market, pushing that down. And just keep in mind that we are right in here still running in that downtrend. We're holding that support level in here, and this could be the exact place where we pop off of too. So watch that carefully if those bears were to happen to re-engage. You know, if we look at our index charts, I'm gonna run over here to the Dow. One of the things I do think is kind of important to be paying attention to guys as we rally back up, notice that our volumes here have been very weak. 
Um, so we're rallying on very weak volume here in the market. A little bit more there in the SPY. We came a little bit closer to kicking up in the QQQ. We still see lots of weakness here in volume as we continue to decline. So keep a close eye on that. Um, that could be important as we move forward. So with that, let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. And this is what I've been talking about all morning. We got the CPI number coming out here before the bell and everything could change before the market opens today. We could become very, very bullish. We could become very, very bearish. Um, the possibilities are certainly there for both sides. Right now, the CPI, the um, consensus estimate is looking for an increase um, on the Econo Day to 7.3%. Um, there are those out there suggesting that it will come in hotter than that, that um, we may actually see inflation hitting a 40-year high in the market. And whether the market reacts to this or not, the question is going to be, how is that going to affect the FOMC decision? Right now, we have about a 40% chance being priced in of a 50 basis point increase in interest rates. Now, um, if this number were to come in hotter than expected, we might see that those chances increase of a 50 basis point increase in rates in March. And I don't know how the market will react to that. Um, that could be a negative reaction. So watch carefully on that number. Of course, if it comes in less than expected, we had that big surprise in the jobs numbers last Friday. If it comes in less than expected, then certainly the market could be very, very bullish on and react very bullishly on that news. Um, we'll want to take a look here. We've got jobless claims as well this morning. Um, I think uh, most of the focus will be here, but if this happens to surprise, certainly can move the market. Later on today, we got the uh, natural gas. We've got Treasury uh, statement. And at uh, 4.30 today, we have the Fed balance sheet, which we know we don't care about. Um, at the moment. Um, let's As we look forward into Friday, now we've got the consumer sentiment number here, and we lighten up on our earnings calendar dramatically on Friday. So um, whatever happens today could follow through on Friday. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar for today. Now our earnings, we have a real busy day. Um, as a matter of fact, guys, there's no way I can even come close to covering everything that's in the earnings report. So if you want to see the um, the report this morning, um, the blog post to get all of the notables here this morning, make sure you click that link just below the title of the video. It takes you back to that morning blog and you can get that full list of notables. Coca-Cola has reported this morning and they recorded reported better than expected, um, but we've got an interesting little seesaw going on here in uh, Coca-Cola, and that may be partially just that wait and see what happens with um, the CPI number. I don't know. Keep a close eye on that. Um, uh, PepsiCo reported earlier this morning, had a little pop and drop um, on that report you can see in that pre-market. We popped up and pulled back here, so watch that one closely. We're also going to be hearing from quite a few companies like um, Expedia today. Keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from Flower Foods. We know that food has been one of those areas that's been pressing and um, creating some issues for consumers out there as those prices continue to rise and maybe one of those factors uh, coming into um, that inflationary data that could uh, make it a little bit hot today. So watch that carefully. We've got GoDaddy on the list today. You might want to be keeping an eye on that. CC will be reporting today. Looks like we're pushing up nicely here heading into that earnings report. We'll see how that uh, works after that. We've got Kellogg's today. A little pop and drop from Kellogg's. We're going to hear from Philip Morris today. We're going to hear uh, from Twitter today. So we've got quite a group of um, reports coming in today. Looks like Twitter's trying to pop up here this morning. So be very, very watchful or careful uh, about these price reactions. There's going to be just a bevy of uh, price action volatility likely today with all of these reports. Let's take a uh, quick look at, um, oops, um, 
all of a sudden, I um, just had a, a real senior moment there. Uh, I was thinking, let's go take a look at the um, earnings reports. But we've already done that. So how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for the day. And please keep in mind that um, as... Uh, as we look at these uh, number or look at these stocks, anything is possible after the open. But before we take a quick look at those, let's, um, if you guys could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find them to be useful, please do me that quick favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. I know yesterday you guys were probably wondering what happened to Campbell, what happened to the report? Well, for some reason, I don't know what the deal was. I published the video first thing in the morning, like I always do, but it didn't show up as published um, on YouTube until after the market closed yesterday. So I don't know what happened. It was a, a, apparently a YouTube glitch. So um, I apologize for that if you were looking for the video yesterday. Um, today, hopefully, we don't have that same problem. Um, let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Um, today, anything is possible in the market. One of the areas that I want to uh, kind of point out today. Um, it's been interesting to see that we've got gold, um, gold rallying back up. Now, we, we have also seen bonds, uh, bond yields um, really spiking up and bonds selling off pretty dramatically. And I don't know if that's creating this move here in some of the metals, but keep an eye on GLD pushing up through some price resistance here in the chart. Um, everything was pointing to the fact that gold was going to fall and say, sell off um, just a couple of weeks ago. And now here we are uh, pushing back up and breaking some resistance levels. So quite a little bit of volatility in here, but I do think it's worth paying attention to. Um, silver. Um, silver has also pushed up and pushing against some resistance levels in the chart. Maybe that is just a function of um, inflationary worries and that could pull back today. I don't know, but watch that carefully. If we get up above these support levels and hold, then who knows, we may catch a bid here on silver and gold stocks. You might also want to take a look at FCX. Now, FCX um, spiked up hard yesterday, been pushing up. Now, I think any rest or pullback in here would say up an opportunity in copper. Notice right in there, little um, upside trend. It's quite steep, so I do think this needs a little rest or pullback. But keep an eye on um, FCX. That might be interesting. And I, I also think it's very interesting that we're seeing just a big surge in aluminum here. Oh my goodness, look at aluminum pop up here. So really, really strong here on Alcoa. Any rest or pullback might set up that opportunity there. I wouldn't want to chase it here at this point. Um, so be kind of careful. Another place that's been really surprisingly um, strong has been um, in the in the casino sector. Notice right in here, um, MGM really strong, pushing up hard and pushing up through some resistance levels in the chart. I, again, I would wait for a little bit of a rest and pullback, but there is some opportunity maybe setting up here in MGM. Um, you can see the same thing if you take a look at like LVS breaking through resistance. Now I know there was a, a decision, a change of uh, thinking over there in Macau that has really helped some of the the, the major brands here in um, uh, the the gaming business. So um, that has certainly helped. So watch this carefully. We've got casinos moving up. And another thing that could be spiking these up is all of a sudden the governments around the world are starting to relax COVID restrictions. And so um, that may also be helpful to um, gaming areas, um, travel, things like that. So watch that close. Any rest or pullback could set up that opportunity here in LVS. And I even saw uh, wind casinos trying to break this downtrend. 
breaking through some resistance that could be setting up here for some upside move. Just a little bit of rest or pullback would certainly give us that opportunity to maybe pick up a long trade in win casinos. Um, with that too, you could take a look at like Carnival Cruise, CCL. We're seeing a nice spike up here in CCL and that might once again be a relaxation of the COVID um, restrictions here in the mar in around the world. And if you take a look at CCL popping through some downtrend, any rest or pullback would set up some pretty good art, um, opportunities. And um, I'm gonna put RCL um, in that list as well. Nice breakthrough. Um, you're probably gonna see a very, very much the same thing if you take a look at Nor Norwegian uh, cruise. So watch that carefully. Also, um, it's been kind of interesting that we have seen um, quite a move in um, insurance stocks. And notice right here in Progressive, we have this nice upside trend. We've been consolidating this move up here, but Progressive has looked good. Um, Travelers continues to run in an upside trend. I've seen Globe Life moving up. Uh, PRU, Prudential, really, really strong on that insurance sector here. So watch some of those stocks. There may be some opportunities with a little rest or pullback um, in those charts. So keep a close eye on them. Other places, you know, I still think you might want to be watching some of these defensive sector type stocks like Coca-Cola after its earnings report, PepsiCo, I think is in a nice little consolidating pattern. Um, it reported well, so if we can get past this volatility this morning, it may have that opportunity to move up. So keep an eye. Um, we've got Philip Morris looking strong here. We still have Altria holding in here very nice on those charts. So some pretty good charts out there to be watching uh, for some bullish patterns. So. With that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Hopefully this video will find you first thing this morning and um, you'll have an awesome day in the market. Take care, everyone, and I wish you all the best.